The queue data structure is a way to hold data. It's similar to a stack. While a stack is first in, last out, a queue is first in, first out. An example in real life is when you are waiting in line to buy something at a store. The first person to get in the line is the first person to get to the cash register. Another example is a print queue. When a lot of people are printing documents at the same printer, the documents are printed in the order they were sent to the print queue. In JavaScript, just like a stack, you can implement a queue with just an array. If you want to limit an array to just the traditional queue methods, you must create it yourself. Let me show you one such implementation. So we have the queue right here, and we're going to have a collection that's going to collect all the items in the queue, and this is just kind of a helper function to print or to console.log the collection. And here are the, the main, main methods of a queue. We have in queue, which is going to push the first item onto the queue, and then we have dequeue, which is going to take an item off the queue. So uh, there's two ways to do it with an array. Items can go into the array at the beginning of the array, or items can go in the array at the end of the array. In this implementation, items are going into the array at the end of the array, and then they come off of the array at the beginning of the array. To put an item onto the queue, we're just going to push that item, that element onto the queue. Then to dequeue, we're going to use um, the array dot shift. Dot shift just pulls off the first item of the array. It removes the first item of the array and returns it. Another queue method is front. This is just going to return what item is at the front of the array without removing the item off of the array. So we're just going to do collection, at, just going to return what item is at the at the zero index of the collection array. And size, we just try to figure out the size of the queue. Pretty straightforward. Just collection.length and then is empty. Check if it's empty. Uh, if there's no, no items in the queue. So let's see how that is going to work down here. I'm just going to uncomment that and run the code. So we enqueue, we created a new queue. Then we enque we enqueued A B C. So the line, the end of the line is the end of the array. The beginning of the line is the beginning of the array. So it's going to print A B C here, and then DQ means that the the item at the beginning of the array is going to, to uh, be removed. So the A is going to be removed, and then we're going to do um, Q dot front, which I forgot to put that console dot log here. If I run that again, you'll see that it's going to check what, what element's at the front of the array, which is B, and then we're going to print the array again, and it's just going to be B and C because we dequeued A. Another way to create a queue is a priority queue. In a priority queue, not only do you pass the element into the queue, you also pass the priority of the element. So if all the priorities are the same number, it's going to behave just like a normal queue. But when you pass in elements at different priorities, the elements that are passed in with a higher priority are sent to the beginning of the queue. So all elements with priority 5 are ahead of elements with priority 4. But if elements have the same priority, it just behaves like a normal queue. So let me explain how the priority queue works. First, let me show you an example of this code down here where we're using the priority queue. So we're going to create the priority queue, and then we're going to enqueue something. And so we're going to pass in an array. The first element in the array is the item we want to put onto the priority queue. The second thing in the array is the priority. And so you can see I'm not pushing them on in the same order, two, three, one. But if I, I run this, when we the print the collection, it's going to print in the order of the priority. And just to show another example, let me add an item with the same priority as an item we already have. And if I run that, you can see these two items have the same priority, so they're in the queue in the order that they were pushed onto the queue. So everything's the same on a priority queue except the enqueue function. So in the enqueue function, first we're going to check if the queue is empty. If it's empty, you're just going to push on the element. 
But if it's not empty, you're going to have to check the priorities to see where to put the element on. So we're going to create a variable just to check whether we've um, added the item to the queue or not. And it, it's false. It starts at false. And now we're going to have to run through each element in the, the collection or the queue to check what the priorities are. So we have this for loop that's going to run through each item in the collection. And we're going to check, is the element at index 1? Remember, the element that we pass into the queue is an array. Index 0 is the item you want to put into the queue. And index 1 is the priority. So is the priority of the element we're passing into the queue less than the priority of the item in the collection that we're checking and see we're using this i from the for loop we're going to go through and check every item in the collection and we're going to check the index one which is the priority of that item and then if the priority is less than the item we're going to add that item or the element to the collection array that's what this splice is doing and then we're going to say add it equals true we're going to break out of the the loop here and then we're going to be done except if the element hasn't been added, um, we are going to then push the element to the array. And the only thing that's slightly different is this DQ method. And this, the way I did is kind of optional. You could return the entire um, element with the item and the priority, or you can do what I did where I just um, return the, the item without the priority here. That's just index zero of this value, which is the, the item that we got off the beginning of the array. Well, those are queues and priority queues. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.